TUT student found dead in Pretoria campus resident with stab wounds, S.A. Angat. Stop this femicide carnage. A third-year student at the Shwane University of Technology, TUT, was allegedly stabbed to death by her boyfriend. Her body was found at the campus resident and the police are investigating the circumstances of the murder. SA citizens were horrified and expressed their anger on social media about the femicide in the country. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And if you have been here, it's always a pleasure having you. Pretoria, 21-year-old Tokozo Zaba, was found dead at the TUT campus resident with multiple stab wounds on her neck. The police took in her boyfriend for questioning and there is much speculation on social media that he committed the murder. Zaba was alleged last seen alive on Wednesday night having drinks with her ex-boyfriend and friends. According to police, the friends left Zaba and the ex-boyfriend together later that night. The university said that on Thursday morning, the deceased was discovered at the Ekaya Junction residence death. TUT extended condolences to Nzaba's family and expressed regret that students and women in the country have to live in fear for their lives. The student who resided at Ekaya Junction was enrolled for National Diploma in Integrated Communication Program. She met her untimely death in what appears to be an accident of gender-based violence. The university is waiting for an official report from South African Police Service. We wish to convey our deepest condolences to the student's family, friends and fellow students. Going through online, here are some comments we gather from Facebook. Van Nyeket said, We live in such a sick society when people can't accept no for an answer. It's unfortunate we don't know the whole story and no one is entitled to take one's life. Another comment reads, It's about time activists, lawmakers, politicians, law enforcement agencies, judges and courts and human rights group rise physically to stop this femicide carnage. South Africa scares me every day. I'm sure as women, we all suffer from anxiety from all these criminal acts. Rest in peace, beautiful angel. This is really sad. Let's all give a minute of silence to Tokozo Zaba, may her soul rest in peace. And please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates. Turn on the notification bell and stay put. Thank you for watching.